Well, one of the fundamental things that um, humans and uh, animals do is find their way around the world. So they, to do that, they need to know where they are, and they need to know uh, where other things are, uh, and they need to know the relationship between the, these places. Um, and the way the brain does that is it represents places where you are now, and, um, and it represents um, distances and directions. Uh, and so over the years, what we've been able to establish is which parts of the brain do this, particularly a part of the brain called the hippocampus, um, and its related areas, uh, and especially one of them, the entorhinal cortex, um, and uh, what types of cells that are there, uh, which uh, represent these different kinds of spatial information. And we know that there are cells representing places. Um, so when you're in a familiar environment, different cells represent different locations in the environment. We know there are cells which represent directions, so that when you're looking in a particular direction or moving in a particular direction, there are cells which uh, tell the rest of the brain that. And then we also know there are cells which uh, appear to tell uh, the distances that are moved in particular directions. And if you put all these together, what that uh, provides you with is something we call a cognitive map, um, which is a framework for identifying where you are, where other things are in the environment, and how to get from one place to another.